Hey, I'm Leo. I'm one of the founders of Wonder. While working with all of you over the last one and a half years, one thing has become really clear to us. When getting a group of people to interact, it is crucial that the platform experience is flawless, that the experience just works. Every disconnect, every technical glitch, every user who doesn't understand how to navigate the platform immediately really matters. That is why we have created Wonder 2.0, the smoothest and most stable networking experience that exists. Let me run you through the most important improvements. When entering the space, you will realize that the video experience is very crisp and the audio experience is super reliable and in sync. There are now three ways how you can walk in a Wonder space, so no participant can possibly miss it. One is you can click and hold somewhere. The second is you can drag your own avatar. And the third is you can click on avatars or circles to just get there. Let's talk about the exciting updates in the space. We've redesigned the video conversation layout. Let's take a look at it. You can now always see everyone, both in minimized and in maximized view. We've made your own video smaller by default, as it's scientifically proven to reduce video fatigue. Your space now breathes with the amount of participants. It will grow with many participants and it will shrink when there are just a few. This way things never feel too crowded or too empty. For larger events, we have built some extra features. More intuitive zooming, so navigating those events is as easy as small events. Once 500 participants are online, your space is full. Any additional participants join a waiting line so they can eventually enter the space. Your avatar has now a fixed position on the background images you upload. Looking at our space right now, if I stand in Austin, everybody else sees me standing in Austin as well. So you can create really cool custom virtual worlds for your space and upload them and use them. Now let's take a look at the participants list. As you can see, it's now alphabetically ordered. There is a search bar. And when you hover, there are a few quick actions that you can take on any user. You can invite them to a circle, you can send them a message, and you can locate them on the map. Also, when you click, you see the answer to the icebreaker question, so you can find out more easily who you would like to talk to next. And by the way, if you update the icebreaker question mid-event, all participants will now be prompted to answer the new question. So you can come up with really fun, small, engaging games to play during your networking events. So let's try this out. What is your favorite movie? Got it. Save, confirm, and then you see update answer, and everybody else sees that as well. So updating it, and now it's immediately reflected in the space. One other key learning was that many hosts prepare their events together with others. We've made it much easier to prepare the space together with other people now. Instead of having to share a password, you can now send a link to your friends or colleagues. Just go here, click on co-host access and share this link. After clicking it, the other people will be immediately logged in and can start editing the space and use the broadcast with you. Hosts and co-hosts are now labeled with a small host badge here, so you can easily find them on the map. Finally, there is one other big change since V1. We now fully support embedding Wonder using iframes, so you can use your space within any virtual event management platform of your choice. Just go to a help center to find out how. All right, that's it. We hope you enjoy Wonder 2.0.